Cloudera uh, made one of their biggest announcements in the company's history, and it's called Cloudera One. So if you're not familiar with Cloudera, what they do is they're an end-to-end -end data management company, all the way from ingest and management and security to data lake house, data warehouse, AI, and even working on those machine learning algorithms. They have been an on-prem solution as they started. They extended to the cloud, but you still had to management manage it. And essentially what that did is that uh, made it really hard uh, for the data scientists, the developers, the ML engineer, the BI analyst, and the business user to just jump right in and get started because essentially you had to have somebody uh, managing the infrastructure. You had to, they had to manage the compute and they had to manage the server. CDP1 is a SaaS version of this, right? So it's simple to use. Uh, there's no operational skills necessary. Uh, it has built in end-to-end -end, uh, cloud-based security. So if you do care where it's being hosted, the first version of this is coming out on AWS, but based on the company's relationship with Google and with Azure, I'm fully expecting uh, for that to be a, a, an option too. And this really expands the portfolio uh, from this target market, Global 2000 for the company, to really the global 5,000. Uh, and not only are these new types of companies, but they're also uh, new types of, of personas, right? I mean, you've got IT execs, um, you've got data science leaders, um, and then you've got data platform owners, and it, it really does financially open the aperture. Now, the company's private, uh, which means it doesn't have to really talk about all let's say the financial implications of this but for my simple math here in terms of you know looking at the market size i think it likely at a minimum doubles the footprint uh, of 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 the company so good launch uh i haven't written anything yet but uh i will and you'll first see it on forbes yeah, absolutely. You're always the Tom Toms for giving deeper analysis of the news that hits. I mean, that's kind of what we do here. But for those of you out there, I'm going to plug Pat's Forbes column. He does a really good job over oh. there. Um, yeah, so I think you made a couple of really good points. Broadly speaking, um, a lot of these companies that have rich histories in, in data and in uh, big data are starting to be seen as a little bit more of a older technology. Um, and have been disrupted by some of the players that have come in, the, uh, the hyperscale clouds, the snowflakes, the data bricks. And these companies are, are looking for what I would say the next wave of that Cisco is going through this. This is something that happens in every industry as disruptors enter the fray. Um, over the last few years, you've seen Cloudera migrate from a heavily prem based offering to a hybrid based offering to now having a SaaS offering. And I think this was an inflection point that the company really needed to go through with CDP1. Um, SaaS is important. Giving customers a way, SaaS is one of the best vehicles for doing that. Cloudera, of course, went private over the last uh, year. Uh, and I think the large intent was to actually get products like this launched and give it a fair runway time to have adoption take hold. And so with CDP1, I think the company is putting you know, in a SaaS offering, putting together compute, cloud storage, ML, streaming analytics, enterprise grade. I think I counted faster than my fingers, but my point was there was many things going on. Um, the company, you know, reducing operational uh, costs that can be in a few different ways through the streamlined SaaS based offering. It can also be through um, the low and no code capabilities that they're building that are going to enable companies to have citizen developers be more involved in the data pipeline. Um, and then, of course, uh, you know, they're proclaiming to be a first and only that have built in capacity to ingest data from on prem um, to the cloud. So that's kind of an interesting thing to keep an eye on is, you know, does Cloudera CDP one offer things that are truly unique and different than the competition? Um, I think as a whole, the move to SaaS is important. I think this is an, a, a big launch. We will be at Cloudera Evolve. Last thought, and I'll get on, on to the second topic, but is this effectively, I think you and I are both going to be really interested in hearing customer stories. Customer stories about A, how 
their current customers expand their business with Cloudera? And B, how did it help a new breed of customer come into the Cloudera fold to basically gain that net revenue expansion that's so tightly wound with SaaS-based offerings? So that's it.